No COD points were spent in the making of this video. Hey there everybody! Today I'll be answering and discussing your questions and topics from Twitter. Ah, the Q&A. Classic quality content. I'm excited, I think it'll be fun. In the background here, I'll be opening all the resistance drops I earned throughout the event by doing the contracts and orders every day. I think I will be putting this up before the video breaking down the odds, not at the same time like last time, because the breakdown will take much longer to make, but I'm looking forward to that. I want to try to answer a couple questions this time, like how many armory credits is a supply drop worth? on average, meaning how much should you spend to get one from a contract. Anyway, maybe you noticed this video is public, not unlisted like last time. I guess in my head the Q&A part of it justifies it as more of a worthwhile video, because I don't want a video about only opening supply drops in 2018, but at the same time I do think I should have the recording available to prove I didn't just make up the data that I'll be using in the breakdown video, and people have expressed wanting more long-form content. I mean, my videos are already pretty long generally, but here you go long video. Well, time to start spamming X to get through all these things. It took a dang while to find an HQ with a decent amount of people in it, and even now it isn't great. I might move around to try to keep getting decent social score, and I'll pay a little bit of attention to the drops to see if some heroics come up. But let's begin scrolling through all these questions on Twitter in the order they were asked. Uh, if you want to ask me something next, I might want to follow over there. I imagine I might do this again sometime if people like it, maybe for the next supply drop event. Uh, no clue how many of these I'll get through, or if I'll run out of questions before I'm done with the drops. We'll see how it goes. First we have James wants to know, am I a fan of the Sour Patch Kids candy, and if so, how do I eat them? Uh, well, I find that very offensive, good sir, that you would suggest I eat my own kind. I am no cannibal. However, if I were a fan, I think I would treat them like a maniac. Uh, yeah, I actually don't remember the last time I've had them. I know this might come as a huge shock, but my name is completely random. I'm not a huge fan of the candy or anything. Uh, chocolate over candy any day. And I got like 10 drops in and the social score is already depressing. Man, why couldn't I find a full lobby? Whenever I don't need to open drops, there are people everywhere. Uh, before I forget, actually, a quick question in a private message here. I did say feel free to do that if you want to ask as anonymous. What is your favorite meme? Uh, well, this feels like a trap, because there's no way to talk about a meme without guaranteeing that this video will become exponentially cringy with time. But I'll answer it anyway. Uh, it can't be one of the repetitive templates that just pop up and get overused and have a lifespan of three days. It would have to be something that has stood the test of time. Hmm. I would say my favorite meme would have to be the Virgin vs. Chad. It never fails to be amusing when made correctly. Very versatile, it allows you to make fun of a thing, and you can list off a bunch of relatable things. Quality meme, in my book. In fact, I bet I could make one for World War II. That'd be fun, I'll put that on the screen. Bam, there you go. Hope you enjoy that fresh homegrown meme I cooked up, and that's a stinkeroo too, very nice. I haven't made it yet, but I hope it's good. And I will remember to implant a tracking device, so if you steal it and repost it, I will know. Uh, Alright, Dirsch Gaming is dying to know, have I ever been killed while stunned by with a signal flare? Uh, yeah, I actually have been killed a couple times like that. Somebody shot me by with their gun while I was blinded by with a signal flare. It's not a very common item since it's easier to kill people by with a grenade, but maybe they were working towards that challenge where you have to kill 100 enemies blinded by with a signal flare. Uh, that could be it. So, yeah, it has happened. Uh, Opie Mufasa inquired, Is water wet? The age-old debate. That's a real thinker. Like, is dirt dirty? Well, obviously, you might say the water molecules are surrounded by other water molecules. That sounds like a logical definition of wet. Water is wet. Or is it? If you touch water, you might say, that's wet. But are you really saying your finger is wet? Maybe for you to call something wet in our language, it's required that something that is not typically wet has come in contact with water and has become wet. Water is not something that can become wet. So does that logically imply it is not wet? I suppose you could have two definitions here. You could say water is scientifically wet, but linguistically not wet. Like how a tomato is biologically a fruit, but culinarily a vegetable. I will thank you for the paradoxically confusing question. Hopefully that is an adequate answer, even though I weaseled my way out of picking a side. Uh, Taco asks in 10 words, who are you? Love your stuff. Well, thank you. Uh, well, damn, people bring in the tough questions. I gotta count out ten words? Uh, a dude who wants more words to describe himself 
better. I, need, I needed the tenth word. Damn it. Uh, that's terrible. How about antisocial smartass yelling at a microphone in a basement? That's nine words again. Uh, in a cold basement. All right, that's my answer, I guess. Or maybe you wanted me to list out qualities like patient, friendly. Uh, well, that would be kind of cheesy. This isn't a job interview, dang it. Moving along. A boorish rat. How many 1v1s have you won in the pit? Uh, only 52, and I know that number because I haven't done one in a very long time. And that's the progress I have on the challenge. Uh, the reason I have 52 is because I did a couple for fun, then there was a weekly order sometime around the launch of the game that you had to win 50 1v1s in the pit. So I did that weekly order, then I figured I'll be smart and wait for the order to come back around. Then I'll be completing the challenge and the order at the same time. But the order never came back, so I guess at some point I'll just do more 1v1s to complete the challenge. And yes, I did see that heroic, and yes, I am disappointed. Uh, we got Alex. Games you're playing right now other than COD. Uh, not a whole lot. When I play a game, I like to get really into it to be the best I can be at that game. Not, not necessarily skill-wise, like with COD, I'm not that great. It's more of an XP grind thing. But I'd rather focus on only one thing. I don't have a whole lot of spare time to be playing games, so that available time usually goes into the daily orders and contracts, and then maybe playing more if there's a good XP event going on, and then of course making videos. It's been a while since I've touched PUBG. I do enjoy it though. Usually I play that more in the summer when I have more time to get in touch with friends. Uh, same with Age of Mythology or anything else I randomly feel nostalgic about. Uh, I guess the only other game I'm actively playing right now would be Pokemon Go. Yeah, in 2018, I know. Uh, the simple reason being that it isn't competing with COD or making videos or anything else time-wise, because I can play that when I'm walking between classes and whatever. Yeah, I never stopped playing that. Uh, I took a break over the winter when it got cold, but I haven't missed a Legendary yet. My campus has a very active rating group with a couple hundred people voting on polls, so that's awesome. Uh, my city has a live tracker for IVs and stuff, pretty lucky with that. Anyway, guessing a lot of people don't want Pokemon Go talk, but that's my answer. Let's move on. Hmm, Mr. Squid asks, what do you think of British people? Uh, well, they're not real people. I like to think I'm a pretty open-minded, tolerant person. Uh, I'll judge people based on the quality of their character, not their nationality or appearance. But uh, British people aren't real people. Uh, they're subhuman, really. I don't think they qualify as people. I'm guessing that's what you were thinking when you asked that question, so I'm glad we're on the same page there. Uh, they did get one thing right, though. The bottom floor of a building is called the ground floor, not the first floor. When you go up the stairs, and then you're at the first floor. Indexing starts at zero. Come on, America. All right, uh, Dan, definitely not also British, has a few questions here. I did say feel free to ask as many as you want. Ever thought about recording some Fortnite? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I'm sure tons of people watching this love it. I, I bet it's a majority of people watching, actually, and that's perfectly fine. Maybe someday, uh, like if I got looped in to play it with some friends, I'm sure I'd have fun, but right now, just not into it. A lot of it looks pretty similar to PUBG, of course, and the biggest changes are things I don't even really like. I think I prefer the game without the building. I can see the appeal, uh, but also people popping up a bunch of walls all the time in combat looks dumb to me, and the cartoony art style does turn me off. I prefer the more realistic theme of PUBG. Not that I only like realistic looking games. I think Borderlands did it well, for example, and I've played a bunch of Pokemon related things, so by no means am I pretending to be too mature for a game to look cartoony or childish looking, but uh, that's not a fan. I suppose my distaste for it is also partially that I don't want to be lumped in with that stigma of people on YouTube jumping ship to go play Fortnite for views, because it does attract a larger, younger audience. You can enjoy it at any age, but you can't deny that. So uh, yeah, just not interested, I guess. If I did enjoy it, I would play it and not care what people thought, but I don't, so that's that. Could get into it at some point if somebody drags me in. Who knows? Not closing the door, just not interested right now. And are you getting bored of COD? I can split that into two things. First, am I getting bored of World War II? Uh, not yet, actually. I'm still enjoying it casually. I tend to get bored of a COD game all at once. Like, when the day comes that I run out of fun video ideas to explore and have no more challenges to strive for completing, that day, I just immediately become done with the game, don't care about playing it anymore, even if people are asking for certain videos, I just can't bring myself to care about it. But that day has yet to arrive. Still enjoying it, and am I getting bored of COD as a whole? Shockingly, no. I was really feeling like I was towards the end of MWR, but now, it's really strange. I'm more excited than usual about the next game. And this HQ has really dried up, my god. I think I might do some HQ hopping real quick.
Well, like half an hour later, I guess this is okay. Uh, as I was saying, it, it's strange. I'm more excited than usual about the next COD game, especially the prospect of a Treyarch game in modern times, which would make sense. They're obviously not going to go back to jetpacks anytime soon. Zero percent chance. Uh, World War II got rid of them. That brought a lot of people back. Uh, but many parts of it feel incomplete. Like, it was almost there, but not quite. And I know this is the wrong reaction to have, but instead of that making me feel like, ah, screw COD, this game is broken, they don't care at all, blah, 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 it makes me even more excited for Treyarch's game next year. Like, this has given me a taste of what I was hoping for, and I want more. That's the evil genius of having multiple studios produce games for the same series. Not only can you maintain the yearly release schedule, but if you feel like a game was crap one year, instead of not buying it next year, you might feel more excited to buy it next year. And I guess that's working on me, because as of right now, I'm actually really looking forward to COD next year. Or I guess this year. You know what I mean. And finally, have I thoughts of doing voice acting? Uh, well, thank you, but uh, no, not really. <laughs> I don't think my voice is anything special. I guess I can't judge because, I pr like pretty much everyone, I hate listening to myself talk. Uh, and I've invested in a pretty good mic setup, so that might make me sound better among the pool of gaming YouTubers with their blue snowballs or whatever they're using. But when it comes to voice acting, I think there's more talent there that I just don't have. And I know we all saw that heroic helmet that wasn't the fedora. If it's not the fedora, it's not important enough to pause and talk about. Uh, well, one moment. <laughs> ah, the Deliverance 2. I'm sure that looks pretty nice. I'd have to get the chrome combat knife too now. Haven't really been doing all the melee weapons. Alright, now Artemis here has plenty of questions. I did say ask as many as you want, although I did cut him off at 10, sorry. Uh, flight top 2, I already have the Enigma 2, so not a big deal. Anyway, 10 questions, fine with me. I did just want some fun things to talk about. Are you going to interrupt me again? No, it's just a uniform. Never mind. Um, Alright, how many asses have I eaten? Uh, none. What do I think about Sledgehammer's new main guy? Uh, yeah, I saw that Conjury moved on. I read the, the new guy's little letter thing, but that was just a couple paragraphs of really standard, thanks everyone, we're gonna get better and better. So I really have no read on the new guy, I know nothing about him, didn't do my research, but uh, I don't expect to notice any change. I know we got that nice and thick weapon tuning update today, uh, which I feel like they want people to credit to the new guy coming in and taking the game in a new direction, but, uh, and I'm, I'm sure the transition has been going on for weeks behind the scenes before the announcement, but I have my doubts on if he actually had anything to do with that change, but maybe, I don't know. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Uh, where'd I get my name from? Figured that might come up. There's really no story to tell, unfortunately. I was just a dumb kid thinking, I need to choose a name. Aha! How about Sour Patch Adults? That's so funny, because it's like Sour Patch Kids. Ha ha ha. Even uh, at the time, I felt like I was 100% going to regret the name I chose, no matter what. But if I could go back and give myself some advice, ditch the number, no numbers in the name, and stop thinking so hard about it. Just randomly generate some names. I think a good username doesn't come from a clever reference or a dumb pun like mine. It could be something you like, but I'd like to have a name that isn't associated with anything. That just has no meaning except what I make of it. Uh, did I watch the Emoji movie, Opinions? Uh, well, sadly, I wasn't able to find the time to go see it. It did look to be the masterpiece of our time. You know, the Shawshank Redemption tanked at the box office. It was only later people realized it was among the best films of all time. Uh, I think you could draw some comparisons to the Emoji Movie. So I'll have to watch that at some point. Or, or maybe never, that's fine too. Uh, I think it's time to do another lobby hop, because I'm very picky about my social score, and this is not going well. Finally, people! It should not be this hard! It usually isn't! Ah, this is good enough. We can stay here the rest of the time, I think. Uh, Alright, we were at the Emoji Movie, continuing with Artemis' questions. Am I excited for Shrek 5? Uh, yeah, who isn't? You're asking a question you know the answer to. Come on. Uh, on average, how much time does it take for you to make a video? Uh, that one was in all caps, I apologize. Uh, well, really hard to average it. It completely depends on the video. Like one of those four to five minute game update news videos I can pump out in two to three hours, but the longer form war guides or things like the in-depth XP analysis and the social score credit analysis, those would take a few days of preparing and recording and editing. Assuming you don't count collecting the footage, that is done over the course of several weeks or months. And Heroic SVT, I like it. That got buffed today as well, I'll be using that. Uh, but yeah, footage collecting takes time because I like to have related clips for everything I'm talking about. Whenever something happens in a game that I think I might want to use for a future video, clip it, save it, name it properly so I can find it later. But I wouldn't consider all that clip collecting as part of the video work. 
So yeah, it really depends, but I guess a, a couple days of time. Uh, what's your sexuality? I am all of the sexualities rolled into one omniscient, omnipotent being. Either that or I'm a white cis male, but that's no fun. What's your favorite indie game? Man, what's the last indie game I played? I really don't play many games. Uh, I guess it'd be Minecraft, technically? God damn. Or actually, I guess Rocket League was an indie game. I had some fun with that. Uh, I watched a few Undertale playthroughs back when that was winning awards, and I was like, what the hell is this crappy looking thing? So I did gain an appreciation for that story. That was a good game. Uh, what's your favorite triple A game besides COD? Uh, well, again, on the topic of not playing many games, uh, I guess my other favorite triple A series would have to be the Pokemon games. Um, looking up at some games on a shelf Medal of Honor, Dead Rising, Mortal Kombat, got decent at that. Um, Mario Kart Wii, hell yeah, my competitive gaming days. My Mario Kart Wii online rating was like 9,700, 9,800. Funky Kong Flame Runner every match. I had to keep my elo up. Uh, good times. But uh, yeah, I guess it'd be the Pokemon games. And I look back on Diamond the most fondly. Uh, do I enjoy Overwatch? Well, I've never played it. <laughs> I see the appeal, but it is a very competitive-centric game. Not that that's bad, but if I were to get into it, I would want to go a whole hog. As I was saying before, I don't want to split my attention everywhere and just be mediocre at everything. I would want to learn all the ins and outs and get really good, but I don't have time for that. COD is the focus for the time being. Uh, it feels kind of late to get into Overwatch, no? I'd be behind as hell. Alright, final question from Artemis. What is the worst meme from 2018? Uh, well, we're only a couple months in. Uh, I already mentioned all the, the lame, short-lived ones earlier. I suppose it would have to be Ugandan Knuckles. I never liked it. Some people say it's offensive. I say not offensive enough, really. <laughs> I just never found it funny. Uh, I think that's because it came from people in VR chat trying to be funny. And that just made it immediately not funny to me anymore. It's forced. It's repetitive. I think a quality meme has a touch of relatable and a touch of edge and is making fun of something. Not people trying to be funny. Do you know the way? It is easy to do this accent. Just make your voice really low. Just stop. Just never found it funny. And it went mainstream really quickly, so that worked against it. Uh, yeah, I guess that's my least favorite meme of 2018. But the year is young. We shall see. And I did get the Reich's Revolver oppressor there. Happy about that. Uh, it's just an epic, but as far as epics go, I didn't even have one before, so... <laughs> just in case I missed the collection again, at least I have one now. Uh, Alright, I skipped over... A couple questions with Artemis's chain, so I'm gonna go back. Uh, Steamboat, your top cards of all time, and how many did I reach Master Prestige in? Uh, I've never done the level 1000 grind, of course, but I've reached Master Prestige in the past four, I guess. World War II, MWR, BO3, Advanced Warfare. I barely played any Ghosts. Uh, I was only like a couple Prestiges into that, I think. Uh, the games before that, I played a lot of. I know I did like the Diamond Camel grind, or the equivalent in all of them. But I honestly don't remember what rank I ended up at. Uh, I think I was max in Black Ops 1 because I remember the pirate skull and swords thing. Ooh, uh, heroic type 100. I already have the heroic blue sky 2, but I think that one looks better. Uh, in Modern Warfare 2, I seem to recall being a high prestige 9, but I was really bad back then, even worse than now. <laughs> and uh, Modern Warfare 2 required a lot of XP to reach level 70 in prestige, so that was uh, a lot of playtime. As for ranking, I guess I'll do a top 3 to avoid trying to rank them all. Uh, if I'm including nostalgia and just picking my favorite games, how I look back on them, Modern Warfare 2 is at the top, and then COD 4, and then I think Black Ops 2 would be third. Uh, now, if I tried to remove nostalgia and pick a game that I think is objectively really well put together, because <laughs> Modern Warfare 2 had a lot of flaws, it was just a really fun time looking back. I might have to say Black Ops 2 is at the top of that list. I uh, don't know what to put after it, though. Black Ops 3... Like, as much as the exosuit stuff was going out of popularity, it was pretty well put together. Uh, trying to remove nostalgia is tough, though. Uh, well, you get the idea. Uh, Dan's back with a follow-up question. Can I do a quick rundown of the challenges I have left? I uh, don't know if I'm really going for 100% in this game. Uh, off the top of my head, a couple of the challenges that stick out as just not looking like fun are the clutch diffuses, and there's a bunch of gridiron challenges relating to passing the ball and scoring and getting the ball passed to you to score, which never happens. I just don't want to play enough gridiron to earn those, so I don't know. I will do a more complete version of a challenge progress update in a video sometime soonish. I've heard a few people wanting something like that. Uh, Kyle, how many games have I completely finished? All achievements. In terms of in-game COD challenge, ooh, double heroic. 
And they're both trash. All right, moving on. <laughs> I should have waited. Uh, in terms of in-game COD challenges, the only thing I 100%ed was Black Ops 3, but I wasn't max level and I left some Dark Ops challenges undone. In terms of console achievements or trophies, I got the Platinum for Modern Warfare Remastered and for Advanced Warfare. Not huge into trophy hunting, but sometimes I decided to go for it. And how far did I get in the challenge completion for MWR? Uh, the career progress thing was at 90% when I left, and 100% for the other categories like the attachments and camos. Uh, yeah, I lost motivation for that since ranking up to level 1000 was included in the challenge completion for some reason, and good old counter MVP and stuff like that never got done. I didn't play enough slasher for that one. Uh, Ragnar's Destiny, do you love me? Of course I love you very much. Do -do -do. El Zilcho, overall reduction of SMGs when using Espresso and Advanced Rifling. Oof, duplicate teeth grinder. Uh, anyway, I see an actual technical question you're asking. Uh, maybe some people want to know. I haven't done the testing personally, but I remember hearing that the Advanced Rifling brings you up by 25%, I think. And the Suppressor brings you down by 30%, and because of how the math works out, you end up being down by about 12% when you're using both, I think. I might want to search for somebody who did the testing, though. Uh, Tyler, are you in college? If so, what are you studying? Uh, yes, sir, I'm in the third year doing a BSc majoring in Comp Sci. Currently taking uh, an astronomy elective, which is fun, and another elective about forming medical and biological terminology. We just have to memorize a bunch of Greek and Latin roots, basically. Uh, I needed arts credits, so that, and I could take that one online, so whatever. Uh, and then I'm taking a course about data structures, algorithm analysis, and graph theory, and uh, finally something about assembly language and pipelining and optimization and cache memory management. Not very fun. Uh, anyway, I won't go on about that too much because I imagine most people don't care. Uh, just amateur. What else do I play besides COD? I guess I covered that pretty well. Jeez, this guy opening stuff right next to me, not distracting at all. Gary, comic book movies, enough is enough or can't get enough? I'm gonna say enough is enough. I had nothing against them until it got to this point of just everything is a comic book movie. I understand it draws in a lot of people, makes them a lot of money, so they're gonna keep happening. And most of them are not bad movies, but man, they've really been dominating for a while now. Where are the other genres? At the same time, I don't really care because I don't go to see many movies anyway. My attention span is pretty terrible. Not that I'm sitting there fidgeting uncontrollably, to be clear. I'll, I'll enjoy a good movie when I get into it. But for some reason, the idea of going to see a movie just doesn't sound fun to me. I'm happy sticking to my video games. Uh, are you still enjoying World War II? Yeah, I covered that a bit. I definitely do enjoy war. That has remained my favorite part about the game. Uh, Fortnite or PUBG? I guess we covered that too. PUBG is for me. Uh, wine, whiskey, vodka, beer, or gin? Hmm... Is there a water option? <laughs> I'm uncultured when it comes to the finer things in life. I've, oh boy, double oof. Uh, Frontline 2 again. Uh, I've never had friends who liked to drink, and I've also found nihilism to be good enough for dealing with the crippling depression. So, <laughs> I guess I've never been interested in developing the taste for it. Uh, ooh, Bomber B, my favorite. Uh, yeah, I really do love water. My favorite drink right there. Uh, Laza, Laza, I know what HSP is. Ever had it? Uh, no, I can do a uh, quick Googling. Uh, some type of inflammation of blood vessels. Interesting. Well, no, never had it. Hopefully, if you've had to deal with it or know someone, you're, you're all right or have gotten through it. And my favorite pizza. Uh, that would have to be uh, nothing but pineapple. Just a large pile of pineapple on the pizza. Because <laughs> that should make some people angry. Uh, serious answer, probably just a meat lover kind of thing. Anything but plain cheese. Not that I would turn it down, but, like, come on, put something on there, otherwise it's just cheese and tomato on bread. If you're somebody who's only interested in cheese pizza, you gotta branch out a little, dude. Uh, Phase Dink, who touched your spaghetti? A damn sledgehammer game is touched to my spaghetti. How dare they remove my emblem? I'll never forgive them. Uh, Andrew, what was your first COD game? Chronologically, that would actually be Modern Warfare 2. A plot twist, not COD 4. I tried it out at a friend's house and was like, damn, this is pretty cool. Maybe I should quit my Mario Kart Wii competitive gaming career. I uh, played Modern Warfare 2 for a while, loved it, and then I was going to play the story and was like, wait though, there's a Modern Warfare 1. I should go play that first. So I got COD 4 and played that for a while as well. Only prestiged a couple times in the COD 4 multiplayer, but I loved that whole story, then returned to play a ton of Modern Warfare 2. Loved that damn game, man. Uh, I did not play World at War though, so COD 1, 2, and 3, then World at War, aside from some modded zombies on PC, and then the Infinite Warfare multiplayer. Those are the five COD games I have not played. I guess he didn't ask that though. I don't, I don't know. I answer that anyway. Uh, will I be in the video? That would be a yes. We got Jake. I beat my free run time on infected pussy. <laughs> um, free run makes me think of Black Ops 3, right? 
It was was one of the maps called Infected? I actually don't remember that. I'm guessing it was the hard one that was all dark. Uh, well, I don't recall my time ever being all that great, but GG, I admit defeat. Uh, I don't expect to be going back there anytime soon. Jeff, what kind of vehicle do you drive? I don't even own a vehicle right now. Uh, there's some pretty good public transportation here in Vancouver, and it's all free, or rather included in the tuition I have to pay. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna use that, and I'm quite happy taking the bus everywhere. It's all very clean and friendly and nice. No need to care about the horrendous traffic or parking situation. I can just sit there on my phone or take out a book. Whatever. Bus life is where it's at. Uh, are you a pineapple on pizza kind of guy? I swear I answered that other question before seeing this one. Uh, if I were to give the very boring, truthful answer, I, I'm quite impartial. I wouldn't seek out pineapple. I'd pick a better topping if I could only pick a few, but I don't have a problem with it either. Ranch or blue cheese? I guess I would go with ranch because I'm boring, uh, but not a huge fan of either. I'd definitely go with a nice Caesar if I had the option. If you've ever had an actual fresh Caesar dressing with the garlic, the egg, the anchovy, you know it's goddamn delicious. Doesn't compare to the bland bottles of it. So, uh, I'm sorry, I broke the confines of your little question there. Uh, Aaron, are you enjoying the game? Covered that part, I guess. How does the grind compare to MWR in terms of challenges and fun? Definitely some pros and cons. I'll favor the MWR gameplay because there's some nostalgia at work there, and I like the weapons, and above all, the maps make that game miles better. However, in the gameplay corner for World War II is the war mode. I do enjoy me some of that. Uh, there are also pros and cons when it comes to the challenges. MWR was okay. The ninja defusing was fun, at least, and no clutch of metals needed. Uh, but it had some broken stuff like counter MVP that never changed, and I've expressed my dislike for the level 1000 challenges. Uh, I think in World War II, the broken stuff has all been fixed now for the most part, and overall, World War II was much easier. Uh, no high kill streaks needed, a lot of the categories, things didn't take much time at all, chrome camo took like a third of the time as exclusion zone. Oh look, there's a, the rookie too, another heroic M1 Garand, I need more of those. Um, but then there are a few outliers, some of which I already mentioned, and then there's like the gas grenades and signal flares. Typo aside, that really isn't a fun challenge to do. Uh, alright. A bomb's been planted on our ammo supply! Yeah, thanks Jonathan. Um, George, how are you enjoying the game? Uh, it's going good, still having fun. Uh, challenge recap video, indeed. Uh, I have seen the interest in that, same for the prestige recap type of thing. Uh, I do have something like that planned. And do I think I'll get to level 1000 or 100% challenge completion? Unlikely, but possible, especially since it feels like there isn't even an official 100% challenge completion in the game, aside from manually checking to see that you've done everything. And am I also getting the Max Prestige and Chrome on the DLC weapons? Yes, I am. I've done that for every weapon so far, except for a couple melees. I'm probably not going to be doing all those. I'm actually tracking it on a spreadsheet, which I'm sure I'll share when it comes time for the recap thing. Uh, except I haven't bought the revolvers yet. Only got the Reich's revolver a moment ago. I was waiting for what I'm doing right now to save on some credits. Uh, also surprised there hasn't been an order for the rare base variants. Only a couple days left of the event. Uh, you already know if it happened. Probably not. Alright, Patrick, hello sir. What do I enjoy most about World War II? It has got to be the war mode. I love it. Makes me sad that it probably won't be back next year. Uh, hopefully there is some sort of alternative multiplayer mode. Like, I know there's the speculation of Battle Royale since it's so popular right now. I just don't want to go back to only domination and hardpoint every day. And uh, thoughts and predictions for COD 2018. Uh, well, I guess there were all those somewhat credible leaks about a uh, modern Black Ops 4, so I guess I'll have to go along with that for now. They wouldn't go back to jetpacks, so a modernish game makes sense to me. I don't know how they'd fit that into the Black Ops universe. It would be between 1 and 2. Uh, I guess Frank Woods would still be kicking since he was that old dude in 2025. But uh, yeah, I'd love a modern game. We shall see. And do I prefer a fast or a slow time to kill? Uh, I'd say you lay it out pretty well in the tweet there. Uh, I guess I am more used to a fast time to kill, but a game like Ghosts was notorious for being way too melty, among other things, but uh, that's definitely bad when time to kill approaches network delay. I guess uh, it's the lame answer, but a balance of the two would be best. M16 melting, probably not great, and taking half a magazine to kill someone, probably not the best either for COD's gameplay. And now from Lizzie, awesome. Uh, do I have a job or am I studying at university? Absolutely, mentioned my pursuit of a computer science degree. As for a job, I am technically employed, although it is part-time to the extreme. Uh, my work entails going in about every other weekend for one whole day to scan a bunch of files and archive and organize them. Not the most exciting thing, but uh, I can watch videos or catch up on some podcasts, so I like it. But most of my time goes into being a full-time student and then the YouTube stuff.
Aiden, how did I get the idea to start on YouTube? I guess there is a bit of a story there. My initial reasoning for wanting to get into it was, I guess, pretty common. Uh, wanting to get to know some of the people I liked watching at the time, like your Woody's Gamer Tags, your Drifters. I thought it would be cool to be their peer. Uh, and then what really kicked me into making my first video was discovering a funny gun glitch in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, there was a thing where you could swap your weapon while swapping to a claymore or something that used the d-pad at the same time, and it made you hold your gun in a super dumb way, like a different weapon or a bomb, and you could still aim and fire and reload like the other weapons. Uh, I'll probably pull up some footage if I can find it, because you won't find that video of mine on YouTube. Many early videos are not public anymore. Although I have left tons of terrible stuff up. Uh, anyway, nobody was talking about that glitch at the time. I was like, I have to make a video about this before someone else does. It's gonna be amazing. I'll show everyone. And, and that video got like 500 views, I think. Pretty good for a first video. Uh, so that was the video that got me into it. I gotta check here. Um, video manager's open. Gun glitch. I'm a, I'm a professional q and a -er. Don't worry about it. A uh, husky too. Nice. Uh, heroic carabine. Cool. Glad to have that. Another heroic. Interesting? No? No, not really. Alright, it's loaded up. January 29th, 2012. Wow. That's when that was uploaded. Uh, Alright, back to uh, BB-8 Clips. Uh, another Fortnite question here. Uh, yeah, I figured that might come up a few times. Like, it's not impossible. Maybe I'll give it a try in the summer when I eventually hit that brick wall of being bored with World War II. Whenever that happens. Uh, ah, Red Tiger. And what's my real name? What, you think Sour isn't my real name? You've never seen a name with a zero in it? That's my, my heritage, man. It's my culture. And Richard, uh, what do you think is the best looking variant in World War II? That's a tough one, actually. Never put much thought into it. And I haven't spent any time looking through all of them, so this won't be a fair judgment. But I can say, out of the heroic weapons I've been using so far, the M1 Garand Frontline 2 might be my favorite. Uh, very simple looking, but very clean. Uh, either that or the Bar Flyboy 2, the black and gold theme is always very nice, but it looks crappier with chrome, which is annoying. Gold and diamond both work better as usual. Um, Patrick's back, are you hoping to see this iconic World War II weapon added at some point? Uh, hell yeah, those look like some fearsome Italian melee weapons, uh, but I recognize this meme from a year ago. Uh, no longer frosty, simply says, Fortnite. I get it, jeez, people like Fortnite. And uh, that last minute question from Andrew, will you 1v1 me? Sure and I'll probably lose. That is a heroic pistol grip. All right. Uh, well, that's it. We got through every single question. That was over 50 of them with only 20 drops to go. That's pretty darn good timing. Uh, well, I find that fun. Maybe you learned something new about me, or maybe not, because I was being dumb half the time. Uh, hopefully it was at least enjoyable. You can let me know if I should do this again, assuming people have more things to ask. Uh, if you hated this video, uh, that's really your fault for sticking around for half an hour. Don't know why you did that. So at this point, your best course of action would be to dislike the video and go walk into traffic. Uh, cool. I think I'm just going to... Wait a minute. The Flash 2. Alright, well, cool. That's the first heroic shovel, but I already have chrome for that, and if I want to go melee only, I don't expect to be going back to the shovel. Uh, as I was saying, I think I'll just whisk through these final drops with the magic of editing. And this is the final drop. Fantastic. Except uh, it isn't really the final drop. This is only Friday. So over the next three days, I should earn another 20 to 30 drops, and then I'll open the bribes. Hey, big fat. Are you talking to me? <laughs> well, thanks, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, yeah, I will open the bribes and those other drops. I guess I'll tack that on to this video. It's already been long as hell, so no harm in making it longer. Before that, though, let's take a look at some collections and loot. Looks like we can get the zipper. Neat. Except all these collections are epics, so I don't really care. In terms of resistance collections, apparently I earned this outfit, but not a whole lot of other things. Gonna have to buy some things to fill in the blanks, it looks like. Which I have the credits for. But I will wait for the other 20-year drops or so. Oh well, time to go through a bunch of outfits and get rid of green stars. Uh, I might switch things up a bit. I'm guessing this isn't something people really want to see, because you can look at the outfits in your own game, I suppose. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the weapons. Okay. Um. 
I equipped an armored Axis uniform, and it legitimately froze my game. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I waited. There was no escaping that. Amazing. All right, how about some of these heroic weapons? And let's get a Reich's revolver on. Yeah, I mean, I'm more of a fan of the front line, too. That's some very nice polished wood, though. Chrome, definitely a little off-putting. Yeah, I like the copper look. That really goes with the highlights on there. And the revolver. Nice, I'll get working on the camos for that, I suppose. No special inspect animation for this variant, it looks like. Body snatcher. I don't think, yeah, that, that doesn't look any better than the, the, the other epic. I should probably just skip over epics for the most part. Here's a beauty, though. The SVT, shit out of luck, too. <laughs> Is that what it's supposed to stand for? I don't know. Very nice. I like it. I don't remember putting chrome on it, though. Oh, wait. I didn't. Maybe that's why chrome is a terrible mastery camo. And here's the other heroic type 100 I have now. I think I will be using that over the blue sky. Very nice. Ah, that's so much better than chrome. It's recognizable. It's unique. It looks good. Ah. And the Husky 2 carabine. Very clean. I like it. Now, this is probably one that would go better with copper again. I almost forgot about this FG-42 Stinkeroo, because I got it a long time ago and the green star went away. I guess I can show off this uh, Disruptor Combat Shotgun. <laughs> it looks way cooler in the icon, of course, but it's one of the resistance weapons they added. Uh, I already had the Enigma. Here's that flag top too. Pretty much the same design, except wooden instead of stained black. And that's a glitched out white camo. It's probably going to turn black. Wait for it. There you go. <laughs> Black camo. Here's that heroic shovel. Do I have chrome on it or not? You'll never know. Here's that ice pick I got a couple times. Although it is just an epic, so I don't know why I stopped to show it. Let's go to the Deliverance 2. There we go. A very clean looking combat knife. <laughs> and I thought I needed to earn chrome on it. It comes with chrome. I should have known. Cleaning up all these green stars. I'll see if I get hit with the bug that everyone's complaining about. So far, they seem to all be going away. And there's all the XP from all of those drops. I mean, at first glance, you think, wow, that's a lot. But, I mean, what? When you think about it, that's an hour and a half of double XP, and the other two don't apply to me. So, uh, yeah, not actually that great. Hi there, I'm back now on Monday night with 30 more drops to open, and then finally, the bribes and the collections. Just finished off the last of the event orders. I'm going to be doing this all the night before this time, because uh, even though they have an event countdown timer in the collections menu, unlike last time, uh, I guess I won't dare make the same mistake again in trusting the ending time to be exact. I guess I have to go against my own social score advice and open these in a deserted midnight headquarters lobby, but uh, whatever, it's only 30. Uh, well, I don't have any more questions to answer, so I'll skip through these with the magic of editing as well. Hey, a new heroic weapon, that's always welcome. Uh, the Lee Enfield Greased 2 looks pretty sick as well. Oh, look at that. It's the heroic that is no longer a heroic. The bugged Roxy 2. When they put in a resistance version that's an epic that overwrote the actual Roxy 2. Huh. And the final drop for a second time. Onward to the collections. Yeah, still not looking too great in here. I'll try to buy pretty much everything legendary and below to improve my odds with the bribes a little bit. Well, we picked up the Liberator, and apparently we unlocked the Enigma as well. Definitely needed that. And the Fortitude. It is finally time for the bribes. I shall start with this epic uniform bribe, which, yeah, like I thought, <laughs> not the most exciting thing. I don't know why people felt the need to AFK 80 games a day for that. I only completed it once, so there you go. Um, all right, eight bribes. This should give a decent amount of heroics if my Winter Siege experience is worth anything. Not starting off great, though. I swear I've seen that bait thing a million times. We didn't get that? Dogfight. Great. 
All right, six more. And there's a heroic and a couple epics. Ah, <laughs> hopefully there aren't like 50 heroic uniforms in this collection. Oh boy, more, more of that. Double heroic. Oh my god. All right, nice, nice. Heroic Reich's revolver. I'll take it. Uh, we still don't have the Enfield number two, but that's nice. And the goat that nobody wants. Yeah, thanks. And that uh, volunteer grand variant. Hey, it's the goat the people do want. <laughs> All right, nice. All right, we got something out of this. And a uniform. That's fine. Uh, we got that sick Reich's revolver and the VSTG, so I can't be too mad. Now, what should I actually unlock? Like, that's really expensive. <laughs> and I already have heroics for some of these things. I guess I'll get the weapons. Yeah, like, why am I saving these credits, dude? <laughs> what am I going to spend them on? Uh, unless there's, like, a million credits for uh, to unlock everything in the game. I, I doubt it. Let's just buy some of this stuff. Combat knife I don't need. Enfield number two I do actually need. Reich's revolver definitely do not need, but whatever. And the SRP, why not? I guess I should look through some of these weapons as well. There's the GOAT 2 that everyone wants so much. Not that it looks that great, it's just a really good weapon. Can you tell the difference? Yeah, I put chrome on it. Wow, how'd you tell? Well, here's the, the new and not improved Roxy 2. Fake heroic. Here's that Leonfield Greased 2. That looks really nice. I might have to change my answer on the best looking weapon. It might be this thing. Uh, I guess a lot of people will have unlocked the Enfield, so you don't really need to see that. Well, here is the Gilded Torment 2 Heroic Reich's Revolver. Very nice. How many times can I say very nice in this video? I don't know. And there's the more XP after that mini opening. Guess what? This video was almost over, but not quite, because it's Monday morning, uh, an hour before the event is over, and I earned one more drop with uh, the XP I was using up. There you go. All duplicates. Really didn't need to show that at all. Uh, I'll do one final check-in with the collections. Kind of confused, actually. Some of these collections are done. I guess when I went back after the bribes, I forgot to check all of them, but I can unlock that. And, I mean, I wasn't getting the clothing before, but I think there's only one thing left. So I might just have to buy that, even though I'm not wearing any of this junk ever. Yeah, there's one item. Screw it, I'm buying it. All right, we did all the stuff. You proud of me? What's that? It, it doesn't matter at all? Yeah, okay. Well, all right, resistance complete. Definitely a better event than Winter Siege, I would say. Uh, much more useful XP events, and it looks like it's actually going to end on time. Uh, I guess some people hated that more items dropped around halfway or two weeks before the end. Uh, I guess that didn't affect me because I saved drops and credits. Uh, anyway, outro things. I uh, hope you enjoyed this long Q&A type thing. I had fun. Maybe more in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.